In this video, I'm going to show you how you can shut down processor cores on a Dell G series laptop which uses Intel processor. So, in my case, I have a Intel i7 processor with six cores. I can, if I wanted to, I could shut down five cores, so it just has one core, or two cores, or three cores, or four cores, and so on. By shutting down cores, you will reduce the performance of your laptop, obviously but it will generate less heat and it will also last longer on the battery. So if you find you have too many cores and you don't need them, you can shut some down. So to do this, you want to restart or start your PC for the first time and enter the BIOS. So to do this, we want to shut down our PC first or restart it. Restart. So once it restarts, we're going to wait for the screen to load and then we're going to press F2 on the keyboard to get into the BIOS. So once it starts to reload, make sure you put your finger over the F2 key on the keyboard. And once the Dell logo appears, such as so, press the F2 key and you should see a little low bar which starts to load. So once you're into the main BIOS, you can normally use your touchpad on your laptop. If you can't, you can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So what you want to do from the menu is go down to performance. Click on the little plus sign to expand the menu. And you can see here in the performance it says multi-core support so click that and you can see here it says all core supported here so I can choose one core, two cores, three cores, four cores or five cores so I want to just run two cores select two click apply click OK then exit the program and your PC will then start up okay my PC is now restarted so to double check to make sure that the cores have been shut down all I have to do is press Control, alt and delete on the keyboard to bring up the task manager click on task manager and if we just expand this and if I look under performance we can see down here that it now says it's running on two cores instead of six so basically that's how you can do it thanks for watching